Hello everyone, this is NAI here, and in today's tutorial, I'll teach you how to create this windmill logo in Affinity Vector Studio, formerly known as Affinity Designer. All right, so to get started, we go ahead and we create a new composition. We go to View, Guides, and we add a horizontal and vertical center guides to the composition. And then we're going to start drawing the figure. So we take the diamond tool, we set the fill to none, we leave the stroke as black, and we set the stroke width to one point. And then, while holding Ctrl and Shift to expand from the center and keep the one-to-one -one proportions, we go ahead and we create a diamond of about this size. And then we take the rectangle tool, and while holding Ctrl and Shift, We go ahead and we create a square of about this size, so it must be about one fifth of the length of the diamond. And then we select both objects, and we take the pen tool. We connect this corner here to this corner here, and we click on Escape to unselect, and then we connect this corner here to this corner here and we press on escape twice and then we take the move tool and we select everything so we're going to keep only this shape here so we take the shape builder tool we set the action to plus and the cleanup to all unused geometry and we click on the shape here to only keep it. And then we take the move tool. And then we're going to duplicate and rotate this shape to create the rest of the logo. But before we do that, we are going to turn it into a symbol. So we go to vector, create symbol. So now this object is turned into a symbol. What that means is that after we duplicate and rotate it, Every change that we make to one symbol will automatically also affect the other symbols. And then we're going to duplicate and rotate it. So we go here to move tool settings and we check on enable transform origin. And we set the rotation center in the middle of the composition. We press on enter to bring out the move duplicate panel. We check on duplicate and we set the number of copies to 3 and the rotation angle to 90 degrees and we click on OK. So now we have created the rest of the logo. The last step is going to be to add colors to it. So here in the layers panel, we select one of the symbols, we uncollapse it and we select the object within it. And then we set its stroke to none. And then we select its fill. We take the gradient tool. We leave the context as fill. And we are going to set the type to linear. I will set one end of the gradient to a light shade of blue. And the other one to a darker shade of the same blue color. And then we're going to adjust the nodes. So I'll position them like this. And I will also adjust the midpoint. And as you can see, every change that we make to one of the shapes automatically also reflects on the other shapes. So this is the benefit of working with symbols. That makes the workflow much more efficient and dynamic. So here we are going to make it as if the shape is inclined. And here the shade falls on this area here. And we can adjust the mid node a bit. And also I'll give it a bit of noise, 10% or so. 
All right, so that was it for this tutorial. You'll learn how to create a Windmill logo in Affinity Vector Studio using symbols. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.